papas and finger papas, we're going to do the thing right here with the Emperor Roscoe on Caroline South. You're tuned to Radio Caroline on 199, England's first commercial radio station and your all-day music station. In the revolutionary days of rock and roll radio, programs and transmissions were made with very basic equipment and a lot of dedication by the DJs, playing record after record for weeks on end at sea. But pirate stations like Caroline were the birth of a style of radio that has never looked back. Have I the right to hold you? Groovy sounds, man. At last, a modern radio station for the 60s. The pirate Welcome to Pirate Radio 90s style. Now, though, it's perfectly legal. It's on dry land in Cornwall, and, well, see what you think. Here's Queen on the new Pirate. You'd think Roger Day would be all at sea as a disc jockey, because he has no discs to jockey. Not surprisingly, the old black plastic is redundant. All the music's on compact disc nowadays. But there aren't even any of those in the studio. Everything comes from the back room. All the commercials and jingles are played in off computer hard disks, and the music tracks are selected from the CD jukebox. In fact, there are four of them, which means that at any one time, over 4,000 tracks are available. Except that the DJ doesn't even need to pick them. The computer has details of each CD track. For example, the tempo can range from suicidal to ecstatic. Michael Jackson's Beat It is rated four, happy. There are similar scales for things like music mood and texture. The computer also has a complex set of rules to choose the music by. You can't have a disc played yesterday at the same time today, and so on. The rules are meant to provide variety and a style unique to the station, as the computer selects track after track after track, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. The idea is to please most of the people most of the time. Well, to avoid disappointment, I've decided to please myself. I'm going to drop in one of my own CDs. Now, this is a 90s instrumental, and it has a tempo that's described as happy. Let's see if it gets selected. The latest technology, the very best records as well. To find out what's next, Roger just watches the computer plan. The screen also tells him when to play commercials and jingles. Where are those happy days? They seem so hard to find. Those old boys that bobbed up around on those pirate ships were very worried about this new technology, thought it would take away all that we held dear about radio. But it's been uh, quite the reverse, actually. I can just sit down, concentrate on the really important bit, talking to the listener. So it improves your performance. What do you think the audience gets out of it? They get a better mix of music because this system actually forces me to play stuff that I might not normally play. In fact, if you uh, hang around till midnight, you can see how slick it really gets. In fact, you can sit in this chair. I'll take you up on that offer. Thanks very much. Could be my big break as a DJ. It's on you. again from midnight the computer even takes over from the DJ and starts playing all the tracks it likes the jingles the commercials everything right through until breakfast everyone else here has gone home long ago the computer goes on playing its favorites and no one knows what it'll choose next Well, you have to admit, it's got good taste. I might as well leave it to do its own thing. 